I'm going to go over the top 5 distros for new Linux users that want to play games. That goes for Steam and emulators. Up first, of course, let's get it out of the way. Everybody's going to recommend this one. It's Linux Mint. Linux Mint is very easy to get into if you are a Windows or Mac user. If you use the Cinnamon version of the desktop, it gives you a very Windows-like experience. It's known for running great on low-end hardware. It's going to feel familiar. A lot of your Steam games are going to work out of the box. If you are looking to try Linux for the first time, just in general, always recommend Linux Mint. So the next on the list is going to be a little bit more focused on games. It's called Chimera OS. The reason I say it's more gamer focused is because it runs like a gaming OS. It boots right into Steam Big Picture mode. It uses a very user-friendly software manager called Flatpak. It has emulator support right out of the box. It's got a very controller-friendly UI. It's not expecting you to be using a mouse and keyboard actually on it. It really gives you that kind of Steam machine experience. But there are builds for Chimera OS that are designed for handhelds. I actually made a video of wiping out Windows on my Lenovo Legion Go and installing Chimera OS instead. Next up is the OS that I'm using right now actually on my 3080 rig. It's called Pop OS. Pop OS is known for running great on laptops and I didn't know why because I've only used it on a desktop. But the reason it's so great for laptop is because it has hybrid GPU management. So it'll let you switch between your integrated graphics and your dedicated GPU to kind of only use the GPU when you need it, like when you're gaming, so it saves battery. But Pop OS is working great for me as a work slash gaming PC. Just the way it's packaged and how straightforward it is, I really like the convenience of it. You know, not having to tinker around with a lot of things, I want things to just be stable since I'm gonna use this as a work machine. And I was running the Plasma build of Nobara OS and that was the build I actually decided on when I switched over from Windows to Linux. I made a video about that one also. I also like it personally because it's based on Ubuntu, and that's a distro I'm already familiar with with having to use it at work. Next up is Bazite OS. Bazite is most known to me as a handheld OS. If you have a handheld PC and you're looking to change operating systems or just distros, I suggest you try Bazite OS if you haven't already. It's based on the Fedora Linux distro. It's very solid OS. I also installed it on my Lenovo Legion Go after Chimera OS. So I have a little bit of experience with it. It's actually the OS that I mainly use for my Lenovo Legion Go. It's what's installed on it right now. And this next one is actually one I mentioned earlier. It's called Nobara OS. And it really is the best Linux distro for gaming in my opinion. It's not the OS that I'm using right now. Like I said earlier, I did replace it with Pop OS. It wasn't really because Nobara OS was bad. It was just because I wanted something a little bit more work focused and something I was more familiar with like Ubuntu. But if you are a PC gamer and you're looking to go over to Linux, just install Nobara OS. A lot of the updates for it are very gamer focused. It makes everything super convenient. Everything's tweakable. It comes with really good pre-installed software. Nobara OS to me is like the for us, by us Linux distro for gaming. So if you are a Windows gamer looking to switch over to Linux and you want something that's going to be the PC gamer OS, it's going to be Nobara OS. I'll put links for all the Linux distros I mentioned in the description. And next, check out the video I made when I actually did the switch over from Windows to Linux. Peace.